All right. Before we start painting, let's have a closer look at the paintings that we have made. These two paintings are made by me. This one is in acrylic paints, whereas this one is in oil paints. Now, as you can see, acrylic colors are brighter and they are more vibrant, whereas oil paints are calm and they gave and they give a soothing effect so the choice should be yours i enjoy painting in both acrylic as well as oil and now let's have a look at the paintings made by my children now you'll wonder how children in the age group of 10 to 15 years have made these wonderful paintings this is possible because I follow simple tricks which I have developed to enable children to paint these wonderful paintings. For instance, for painting uh, flowers, I ask them to put dots that also with an earbud. So this becomes very easy for them and it becomes a fun activity. Now, once the dots are laid down, then I use another trick. I ask them to make plus and multiplication signs on every dot. Now, this also they can relate to and very easily our flowers get ready. Finally, we make the petals and then with a toothpick, we put dots at the center of these flowers. Similarly, uh, for the bush, if you ask a child to paint a bush like this, he or she may find it difficult. For this, what trick I use is I ask them to make, to paint circles. It's absolutely fine even if the circle is not a perfect one. Again, to make that interesting, I ask them to paint half of the circle in one color and the rest half in other colors. So this also becomes very interesting and quickly they paint that circle. And then we add the leaves to those bush bushes and that's how the bush gets uh, ready. And uh, when we add coats of paints, layers of paints, it also adds depth to the painting. The painting looks m m more nice. It looks good. So, uh, and yes, one more. I include such simple tips and tricks, or you can call them as hacks, at, in every painting uh, tutorial of mine. And I've included a link to my other tutorials at the end of this video so make sure that you watch this video till the end and find the link to other video to other videos and explore other tutorials also and I'm sure that it's going to be a great help especially to beginners and now without wasting time yes these roses now we have developed these roses using another technique which i will be uh, explaining in uh, the upcoming videos so stay tuned for the same and now let's begin First, we'll mark the ground. Huh? So, draw a line to separate the 
ground and the wall theek hai now paint this with burnt sienna that is brown color okay color the wall in grey color very well done you blended it nicely the big something na First painted the background with grey, and then make these horizontal and vertical lines for marking the bricks. Take more color. Now, which colors have you used? White and yellow. Okay. Okay. Now let's sketch the pots Pots. first, and then we'll color them. So after marking the pots, we color half of them in yellow. Which color is this? Brown. Burnt sienna. Hmm. And half we will color it in ochre yellow. yellow. Yes. Take more color. Okay. Hmm. Take enough color. Now half of the pots you have to paint it. And half ochre. See now. Now the rest, huh? Pots. Yellow. Yellow color. You have to color it again. Yellow color. Hmm. Only in the middle, huh? Huh? Blend the two colors. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, correct. Do it. Now for the plants, we mark half circles. Green. Hmm. And half circle lemon with lemon. Yes, half of it. Lemon. You have to paint it in green and lemon. Yeah, and the rest in lemon. Lemon. All right. Okay. Green halves are over. Now you paint the remaining halves in. Let me see. All right. Hmm. Good. Now the rest half you have to paint in. Let me see. Hmm. Stop. Okay. I want to practice. Okay. Hmm. Good. Now blend, blend. the two colors. Merge the two colors. Hmm. Now we have to go. Now we are going to make leaves. All right. And so sir. We are making the leaves now in a combination of green and huh? yellow. Green and yellow. Green and yellow. So alternate green and yellow mm-hmm. colors you have to use for shading the leaves. Mm-hmm. Now with an earbud, yes, we will put some mm-hmm. color. Yes. 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 Yes.
We are using earbuds for making the for making the class. So now we make plus and plus plus sign and multiply sign multiplication sign on each dot. If you all speak, how will my instructions get recorded, children? No talking, huh? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, Only goes plus signs, huh? On each dot. Do not form class. Do it. Now I can do the. I'll give you the next color. I can do the inverse. Outwards. Outwards. Programming. Now we give the finishing touch to all the flowers, huh? After yes. those plus and multiplication sign, na? Yes. Again, we use the respective colors. On top of the white huh. color. Yeah. To show the petals. Hmm. To show the petals, right? Now, dots in the, the last middle. step to give dots in the middle of the flash with hmm. black. Hmm. Now we are doing the detailing. Detailing with white. For the walls. Correct. No, 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 don't use them. Why? Use other colors, no? Yeah, I'm going to leave it up here. Let's do it. Put the white dots on the center of the blue flowers. Exactly on the center of the blue flowers. Yeah, that way. Good. Now finally we make the buds yeah. after completing the class. We are going to the buds hmm. which is our last step. Hmm. These have come out very well, huh? Movie or acrylic paint? Camera is rolling, beta. Chalu hai? Haan. I made this painting at JD Arts. If you like my painting, give me a thumbs up. Excellent. Good job. Thank you.